Hey guys, it's me, Mr. 250, and welcome back to Virtue's Last Reward. So, after uh, listening to a few comments that were in the uh, in the comments, <laughs> uh, I got a I got a few ideas of how we're gonna do this, and there's a uh, we're gonna we're gonna do this in a left to right pattern. Um, the way it's gonna work is basically, for example. Uh, we started out going all the way to the left, then we went to the right next one, then we will head for the one right next to that, which would be this, and then take the left path, or I might accidentally take the right path, but that's okay. That part doesn't matter as much, but basically we're going to clear the board going in a left to right pattern, which apparently works fairly well for story purposes. And that leads us currently to this point, into the chromatic doors after a... Uh, and after round one, going with Ally, with uh, Luna, and so now we're into the chromatic doors. The second chromatic doors, I believe? Yeah, because the first ones are all the way up here at the top. And the first time we chose green, and it was Alice and I went with uh, Luna because we tried to go with Clover, which uh, you'll see in a second. Actually, we don't need to jump. Just back out of this. Let's see. So we tried to go with Clover that one time, and then Kay's like, um, no, I'm not letting you do that. So we ended up going with Luna. This time, we're going to use the blue door and go with Kay. Alice! Kay! The blue door! Yeah, we should. We took off towards the door to run. I glance back over my shoulder to see the others heading for their respective doors. Phi, Dio, and Clover were headed towards the green door, while Tin Miyoji carried Quark towards the red door, because remember Quark's acting a little fishy right now, followed by Luna. So now we're going to be with Kay this time. Which means we won't find the plug, will we? Because this is the uh, the time that we went into the golem room. Well, if we went through the green door, I mean. Right? I believe? Or am I getting my times mixed around? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. We'll find out later. Ooh, the rec room in Bee Garden. What's Bee Garden? Wait, three doors? Which is true. What's that thing over there? Only one way to find out. That's convenient. Otherwise, we'd be stuck in here forever. Indeed, it was. It only opened the door on the right, though. How do we get the other doors to open? Thanks for the help. Forward it is then. O or right, I guess. We're going to be in the rec room. I've actually been fairly interested in this room just because it has so many, like, weird things going on in here. We might even find ourselves a <laughs> bottle of Luminol. What is this place? I don't know. I bet if Junpei was here, he'd have loads of fun in this room, making fun of the cool animals and, and, and all sorts of fun. Okay, the pool and the darts I get, but... What's with all the suits of armor? Seems kind of weird. Yep, this is what I've been a little bit curious about. Yep. 
Yeah, I, I've seen them too, and they're kind of lame. I've noticed they've kind of fallen out of fashion in the recent years. Like, I haven't seen as many around. Does this thing mean they were kids here at some point? Looks an awful lot like Zero. Or Zero Junior, anyway. So, this place is a lounge, some sleeping quarters, and now this rec room. It's like we're on some kind of luxury cruise liner. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> it definitely does, especially with the addition of that one pantry, because the one problem that I saw up till now was, you know, that while we can stay here for a limited amount of time, after a couple days we're going to get kind of hungry, but with a pantry enabled, maybe it's not such a bad thing. In fact, it's almost making me think maybe it's like some sort of underground bunker. You know, for, uh, like, you know, just the idea of, uh, what is it, like the Fallout series, you know, they have those, uh, Fallout shelters, that's the word I'm looking for, Fallout shelter. It's kind of what it seems like, just on the surface, I don't know. I mean, it, it could be anything, obviously, it's just another idea. Which is something you definitely have to worry about in a situation similar to that, you know, just hypothesizing. Every everything anybody needs to live without leaving. I guess they're planning to keep us here for a while, huh? Well, that's not happening because we're either gonna die or we're gonna we're gonna get out. And that's our exit door, I'm assuming. No good. Won't open. Looks like it's locked up tight. I would definitely assume so. Right, then. Let's find him. Seek a way out! Well, to be fair, we know the way out. It's by getting a key out of the safe. That's what usually works. Kinda chill music. I was expecting something a little bit closer to in 999, the music that we had in the, uh, in the... Uh, what do you call it? Like the casino room? Or whatever? Just because it had a, a little bit of a similar idea of, you know, sort of a relaxation room. But this is a lot more... Hectic, but... It's another feeling that I can't quite describe right off. Sorry. Get a little bit lost in the music sometimes. Okay, we got a tiger down there. Um... So what objects are there to note? We got a poster, a safe, uh, that things of luminol, looks like a dartboard, some plaques on the wall, the suits of armor, fancy looking moose, or not moose, a deer, some sort of computer terminal or a jukebox possibly? And then of course our little Zero Junior ride with a lion on it, interestingly enough I just noticed. Oh boy. Some sort of extension cord. Looks like this extension cord is plugged into the ride, but I'm not sure why. But what do you mean? It's probably there so the ride can get power. That's not what I mean. There's way too much slack. Doesn't look like the ride's power cable is long enough. Doesn't it look like the ride's power cable is long enough without the extension cord? Then let's take the extension cable with us. Don't forget to plug the ride back into the outlet. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so we've got an extension cord. Looks like an American type of socket. Or US, anyway, I should say. Not sure if that means anything, I doubt it. 
This was connected to the Zero Junior ride. It's got a pretty long cable on it. Okay. So we could use it either for transporting electricity like its intended purpose, or, of course, it is a very long material. We could use it for tying things, perhaps. It's one of those rides like you see in front of the grocery store. It looks like Zero Junior. I get the feeling someone's laughing at us. <laughs> I don't like it. Me neither. It's kind of spooky. And then, of course, we have a little lion up here. Insert coin. It looks like this box is connected to the ride somehow. But why? I can't say for sure, but don't rides often require payment in order to run? Yeah, but I don't see anywhere to stick a coin in, except for possibly the lion's mouth. Have you looked closely at the lion? There seems to be a slot in the mouth. Great, so we need to probably put a coin in its mouth. And I have a feeling just to tie in with that lion in the sun thing, it's going to be a star coin. Am I, am I incorrect? Probably not. Anything else to note? Nope. Okay. So we're going to leave Zero Junior right alone for now. I'm sure that's going to come up later. Of course, what is that? Is that like a patch? A pool table, huh? It looks as though a piece of the felt has been torn off. I wonder why. Maybe we need to replace the felt. Anything of interest with the holes? Some of the felt's been torn off. Anything of interest down there? The ball retrieval slot. Yeah, that's where the balls go. I'm assuming that'll come up later since it allowed me to actually do that. Alright. What is this? There's a round indentation in this frame. Perhaps something round goes in it? Since it's framed, it kind of makes me think it's like a uh, like an old vinyl record. Maybe someone framed an old vinyl record and now they're missing? That's locked. Why won't it open? Looks like it has darts in it. There's something in there, but we can't take it out if it won't open. Alright, so we're probably going to have to open that somehow. Another round indentation. Looks like you put a vinyl record in it, but, you know... It might not be quite that easy. Oh, and this looks like a, uh... Like a record player. Oh, how nostalgic. This is a jukebox. It plays an old form of music media known as a record. With the push of a few buttons, you can listen to your favorite songs. Looks like it's not plugged in. Oh, that's convenient. It won't reach... Well, why don't we use our extension cord? Wait, Sigma, I think you've got the solution right there. Indeed, you could, you might say, extend the reach of the jukebox, or we could, you know, move it like a human being. We've got three of us here, I'm sure we can move it, but, you know, whatever. Puzzles. Now get to it. Hmm. If I connect this extension cord to the power cable, then plug it into the outlet... The extension cord is connected and plugged in. Unfortunately, it seems that isn't quite enough. I believe we'll need to insert a coin, great, before the machine will operate. Alright. Zero's not making this easy for us, is he? Alice, what's with the deal with that screen over the pool table? I think it's a scoreboard. For pool? Okay. Sure, whatever. Let's look at Mr. Deer. Hello? My god! This deer must have faced halfway through the wall and then gotten stuck. How horrific. <laughs> Just add little blush lines to Kay's face and like Senpai notice me. That's just a mounted head. It's a decoration. Ah, I did think it had an extraordinarily long legs. <laughs> Having fun there, Kay? Okay. So, of course, we have this little thing going on here. Well, what happens when we push the button? I'm sure interesting things happen. Okay. There's a triangle in the middle of the circular button. I'm going to push it. I didn't even count to three that time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. It spooked me for a second. I thought we decided to stick her face there. 
The suit of armor swung the weapon it was holding at the other suit's shield. Ooh. Now that's interesting. Because remember how we were talking about there's no way that... That, uh... What's his face? Kid boy. Cork. Cork is the word I was looking for. There's no way Cork could have possibly killed them. Well, these suits of armor seem to have animatronics or something inside of them. That seems strong enough that it could hurt something like that. Also, he's got an Allen wrench in there, it looks like. The suit of armor swung the weapon it was holding at the other suit shield. Okay. What does that do? And a push! Not so spooky this time. Suit of armor. Okay, that wasn't terribly helpful. Control panel. There's something on the screen. Rectangular button turns stage lights on and off. Circular button activates armor, so... Rectangular button doesn't sound terribly useful. Okay. What happens if we turn off the light, just out of curiosity? Nothing of terrible usefulness at the moment. This guy's holding something. A pull cue. Why was the suit of armor holding a pull cue? Because we're in a gaming room? Perhaps it's not an ordinary cue. The butt end is a little weird. It's got a hexagonal hole in the tip. That it does. Perhaps we could use it like uh, some sort of wrench of some sort? And you, were you planning to give the suit of armor the pull cue? I don't think that would be appropriate. That cue stick is meant for more important things. Perhaps you should hold on to it for now. I guess I'll just take the weapon it's holding then. Trident. This is for catching fish, right? Originally, yes. I believe this is a slightly modified version, though. It is known as a trident. Okay. So, what what do we got over here? I wasn't what I was aiming for. Well, that's the, uh... That's a dartboard. The scoring system? Perhaps we have to get a certain score? I don't know. An automatic sensor board... Or scoreboard, huh? Nice. If we had some darts, we could play a game or two. Uh... I mean, it's probably not on the top of our priority list, but we might as well. Alright, we got the Luminol down here, it looks like. And we have our little piece of felt, interestingly enough. We got our scrap of felt. Huh. I wonder why this felt is damp. Ooh, I bet it was sprayed with Luminol. Presumably because it has been soaked in something. Okay. So the Luminol... Looks like these are all the same thing. Do you think we're supposed to pick the right bottles or something? I hope not. They all look exactly alike to me. Then just take whatever one you want. Alright, Luminol. Not... I mean, it says Luminol. And it must be Luminol spray. It reacts with certain things such as blood and glows with a very faint bluish-white light. It's often used in forensic investigations. Huh. What are we supposed to do with it? Maybe you could spray it on the pool table. The pool table? Why? When I was examining something... Oh, whoops. Oh, why can't I go up? Oh, because it... Yeah, okay. I'm examining something earlier. She thought she saw blood. If it was blood... Yeah. So we should try that. I was looking this up just out of curiosity. Let's see, billiard balls. Oh, there's pool balls. They look rather odd. Aren't pool balls usually painted a variety of colors? These appear to be all white. Although they are numbered. Hmm. Well, I might as well try using them on the table. Now, I was looking up Luminol just out of curiosity. First off, it's obviously a real thing. Let's turn off the lights and see if anything happens in here. It's obviously a real thing. It is used in police investigations. However, it's not quite the miracle spray that we're seeing in this game. It is, in fact, more like a, uh... Nothing suspicious right off. It's, uh, it only really lasts for about, I think, 30 seconds, they said, before it starts to fade away. However, with the magic of photography, you can actually take a photo of it and, uh, save it for future use. So it's still useful use... It, 
They, in this game, they make it seem like you spray it and it just stays there, and it doesn't in real life. What's this supposed to be a picture of? Maybe the order we have to get the pool balls in? They're those balls from that kid's show, right? If you collect seven of them, you get a wish. But there's more than twice that here. Oh, then it's a set of billiard balls. Wait, was that a... Never mind. Then, look, I think it's probably a hint. Just grab it and bring it with you. Sure, why not? I'm sure that'll be useful later. Okay, so... Let's try... Placing the balls on the table, perhaps. Alright, what am I supposed to do with these? Maybe need to drop them in the pockets on the pool table. Huh. Drag each ball to the desired pocket, and then release the ball to drop it. Alright, let's give it a try. I'm not so sure about this. Okay. So I'm not really understanding... Wait. I'm not really understanding the A, B, C, D, E, F thing. Oh, I see. And I honestly have absolutely no idea what this is supposed to be, so... I'm just gonna save us the hassle and stop now. Darn! No good! I don't get it! No, nope. Oh, crap. No, I didn't mean to click it again. Let's give up again and he'll be like, No, I can't do it! This is pretty tough. Okay. So, whoops. Wrong button. Let's save sluts. So, let's try the luminol on it. Hmm... Now to spray this table with luminol. Okay, now let's try turning off the light. Alright, what do we got here? Ooh, we got spooky numbers! And symbols. Oh, I see. Okay. Can we place that patch back, possibly? It's wet with... Dang it, keep pressing that. It's wet with something. I'd like to think it's Illuminol. Oh, it's wet. Oh, it's got E on it. Interesting. There's something on here. So it was designed to only be visible in the dark. Is that a three? Perhaps you have it upside down. It could also be the letter E. Indeed it could. Can we place it back? Looks like the felt came from here. There we go. All right. Hmm. There are six letters on the table. Yeah, it looks like they were written in something that reacted with aluminol. They appear to be the letters A through F. No pattern I can see, though. Okay, so... We do, in fact, have... Oh. <laughs> I was like, what is that doing? We hadn't looked at that. We do have this. Maybe that's an order we have to do it. Maybe from top to bottom, left to right. That's a possibility, I suppose. Um, what else do we need? Did we have another thing? Oh, no, we didn't. That was when we were looking at the... Uh, we were looking at the different balls that we could try out. And... Oh, we already activated that. Wonder, okay, let's try the pull cue next, because I'm a little bit stumped on that other thing. Also, uh, sorry to say this, but today's going to be a little bit of a shorter episode. I am pretty tight on time, so we're actually not going to finish all this. But I don't want to not put out a Virtue's Last Word episode, so I'm going to make up for it by... I'll probably play for another five minutes here. Uh, leave it off. Next time we have Virtue's Last Word, I will finish it up and go for another 30 minutes. Now let's see what happens if we use the pull cue. No? Okay. Are there any other round indentations? Not particularly. I feel like... So we have the trident as well. Could the trident be used with anything? Something with three holes, perhaps? Well... 
I am honestly a bit stumped. Uh, let's check out the table again. Yeah, yeah. So... I, I understand... Now, I don't have it, you know, obviously on me at the moment. But I understand that the different holes correspond to different letters. But I don't know how those numbers correspond to the letters. That's the problem. I'm missing... I'm missing a link right there. And that's gonna make that not really possible to do. Unless it's been told to me by that poster and I'm supposed to get it from that and just do it in the order that's on the poster. I don't know. Uh, but that one, it just doesn't seem quite likely. Let me... See, so we check, we check that. Check the armor. Can't open that. We need we need coins for both of these items. Interesting. Okay. Well, I gotta say I'm fairly stumped. Ooh, a light. That's a pretty fancy fixture. You're not gonna make any cool light jokes. Okay. I suppose. Yeah. I think uh, I'm just gonna stop it here for today. An outlet. Exciting. Um. Because I, I just do not have the time today, sorry. Uh, but next time, I'll make an extra long episode to make up for it. Or at least an extra video to go with it. Um, yeah, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And next time, we will explore more in here. I'm probably going to look up a little bit just because I'm slightly stumped. Uh, I might wait a day. Maybe, maybe I'll give it a day to think about. And then if by the time I come back, if I still can't figure it out, then I'll look it up might not be a bad idea but anyway thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time bye